Hey, what is going on, everybody? Boylon here, back for another episode of Blogs with Boylon Friday. Hoping that you all had a great week. We're going to see uh, what there is to see, I guess, in today's blog. Uh, there are some expectations regarding Hivemind and some of the upcoming events. Last week, we had a statement regarding upcoming farmability for Hivemind, so fingers crossed. Is something decent and or nothing too crazy. Otherwise, we're going to be checking out some things. Of course, though, Old Man Logan will be starting. Honestly, by the time this video goes out, it should have already started. And we'll find out whether it's bugged or not, because unfortunately, the Envoys hadn't had a chance to test it on the playtest server before it went live. So uh, we'll see. Uh, otherwise, you'll see some videos come out for me later on uh, sometime after this one. So if you're ready to go, everybody, let's spoil this down. Oh, Canada. <laughs> it's the name of the blog post for today for Alpha Flight. So, greetings. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit more, actually. Can I zoom in a couple more? There we go. Is that too far, actually? I think it's actually too far. Okay, let's, let's zoom back out. Okay, there we go. Here's your battle plan for May 25th through May 31st. We have the Strike Pass Season 60. My God. Uh, with Penny Parker. So that's nothing too surprising there. Um, and I think there's also, I mentioned this in my data mines video, but the next RTA pass is actually going to be Cosmic Ghost Rider. So that's going to be after the existing pass with Iron Patriot, I think, and Black Knight. So the one after that, maybe for Cosmic Ghost Rider. We have CC Season 8. Now, some of you might have uh, taken advantage of being able to see that from the uh, Envoy tournament that happened. The other day and so that's going to be crucible season eight coming next week probably will have a video on the weekend i think talking about the room rules and things like that some of the teams that i plan on using not that that's going to be something that you have to do but just kind of uh, taking a look at what my roster is going to do for there and then what my initial thoughts are for my starting teams in there uh, i'll probably cover that for saturday probably unless there's something insane that we need to discuss with old man logan which is highly possible because you know who knows if it's bugged or not we have the next event coming up on monday called mystic mercenary now this is going to be the last event for the month of may this is going to include shards for Deathpool and for dokken now as far as i'm aware I think Dokken is a two-part release. I think we're going to get him unlocked from this event here, but more shards are going to be coming on the next event the following week. If you caught my data mines video, uh, we went over that in there. This event is going to involve battling an alliance war with Mercs for Money. It's bonus points for that. But the primary method is ISO 8 campaign energy, and then the web milestone here is going to be spending energy in the event campaign. So two ways to core, but neither of it has leaderboard. So it's nothing super important. You just need to get the event item. We'll talk about that, though, on Sunday, I think, when we do the event video on that one. There's going to be a quick rumble with new Avengers as well. And this one's quite interesting. Actually, the availability. So we're going to be getting diamonds for Nova, Quicksilver, and Green Goblin Classic in the uh, elite store and i want to bring up really quickly my diamond promotion chart i have a dpc character chart and you can kind of take a look at what some of the costs are for the characters and i think that's what is probably going to mirror at least for uh no uh, i'm assuming it's going to be something like the horseman characters it could be a little bit more but 900 1800 and 4500 that's what the horseman characters were for 1D through 3D. So if Nova and Green Goblin, why are they skipping Black Cat? I don't really know. Does Black Cat doesn't or, uh, they, they, It should be all three of them. But anyways, Quicksilver, here is the cost for Zombie Iron Man and Spider-Man Big Time. I don't know if it's going to mirror that as well. But if you're sitting around with a seven red Quicksilver or a seven red Green Goblin, I would not recommend Diamonds on Nova, but that's just me. Uh, you know, because I'm actually sitting around with quite a few Dark Diamond promotions. And after this Crucible season payout, honestly, I'm not sure what I want to do with it. 7250, I'm going to get an extra 4400. That's going to put me at 11,600 or so. Honestly, I could probably take one of these characters straight up to three diamond. That's probably going to be Green Goblin Classic. My Quicksilver is not at seven red, actually. So I, I think it's going to be GGC. I think he's going to be the one that I'll probably end up taking up to three diamond and then waiting for something like Black Knight. I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. So 
Uh, we'll see. Or right, Super Scroll as well. You know, Black Knight and Super Scroll, whichever the next one character is going to be. But I think we're probably like another few months out before that ends up happening. Let me know in the comments down below, though, what your plans are for those Dark Diamonds. We also do have the farmability for Hive Mind. So we knew that Void Knight was going to the Spotlight Raid Orb. That's going to be starting next Friday. And the spotlight raid launches fingers crossed that who knows maybe the envoys get to play test that on the server just to see whether or not that's bugged but we haven't really been getting a lot of these play tests for things lately so who knows uh, but we are getting some player friendly decisions with Gwenum. Gwenum is going to the blitz store and the blitz orb so that should be pretty easy for new players to be able to upgrade to seven uh, yellow and also for me because i don't have her at seven yellow yet either and red goblin is moving to the cosmic crucible store that, that's a bit unfortunate for newer players because it's there's it's really heavy on characters that you could use particularly nightcrawler was the most recent character to be added there and that was the last farm ability actually so they seem to be really chucking a lot of characters into the cosmic crucible store for veterans i think there's a lot of elite crucible credits up for grabs that this shouldn't be too hard to max out for players like myself and other late players uh, and i should be able to get that to seven yellow as soon as possible Alpha Flight, this is going to be talking about actually a lot of the characters. So if you caught my data mines video, North Star is going to be the first character that comes out actually uh, for the team. I don't know if they actually set a date for that. So maybe he's not actually coming out next week, but he is the first one that's going to receive offers on the team. And obviously this is going to be for the spotlight raids. Maybe they didn't mention it in the blog and maybe he's actually going to be in the offer sometime next week. I would keep an eye out for that because the Alpha Flight, you need the full five to do the Alpha Flight raids anyways in Spotlight. But hey, you know, it is what it is there. I'm not going to be going over this. This is all the kit stuff. So we're going to be skipping through this. Uh, we already talked about the kits for Alpha Flight. And if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out in game or check out the video that I discussed the kits on this. So we're going to skip, 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 skip. And all the reworks, skipping, skipping through that. So there's quite a bit there. A lot of it is just talking about that. The character vote. Now, I mentioned this actually in my data mines video as well. And uh, so we're going to be voting on the next character that's basically going to get a rework, which is going to be either Moon Knight or Morbius. So that's going to be quite important there. Uh, this was in the data mines, as I mentioned. But you're going to be able to vote on this. You're going to get, of course, extra stuff, 50 power cores and 15 campaign. I mean, why not, right? It's free stuff. You might as well do it especially for the power cores that helps, especially when our events require a lot of power cores. Anyways, we did last voted on uh, the mentor. And honestly, at this point, I think that everyone's going to vote for Morbius. I, I just have a feeling personally, I have Morbius at a higher power level than Moon Knight anyways. So it is what it is there. I think it'd be really cool to see Moon Knight on the team, though. But I just have a feeling that people are just going to vote for Morbius. Morbius is the mentor. Karen has wings. They're going to vote for Morbius to be on the team. I think that's just how it is. Uh, now, whoever else is going to be on the team, we discussed that as well. Hey, who knows? Maybe it's going to be just a flat out vampire team ish. And uh, we're going to get Dracula, you know, as one of the uh, next new characters. They haven't really discussed that. I honestly think that this is going to be the Mystic Raid team. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below what you believe. And then moving on, we have Cosmic Crucible Season 8. The rules are all here. So I'm, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. You can check it out on your own time. Uh, online uh, on the blog. I've also posted it in my Discord server as well. So again, matchmaking is going to start on the 24th. That's going to be today. And then the trials kick off on Monday as usual. And they're not adjusting the player ranks. So this was, people were asking this question a lot. You know, are we going to be dropping uh, season ranks? And they are not doing it this time. However, this will change in an upcoming season. So it makes it sound like season nine, the next one is going to drop seasons. We'll see what ends up happening about that. Basically, this season is focusing on Cabal and Masters of Evil because Masters of Evil is getting the Cabal tag. So that's just going to make characters like Kang and Titania even stronger in the Cabal duo if you're using them that way, which I think is good, especially a lot of like newer and mid-game players are using Cabal with Kang because they don't have the full team. If you have the full team, then you, know, you can still use them, obviously, but there's the options for you here. I'm not going to go through the entire rooms room rules here. You know, I think we're going to do a separate video on this. Uh, before Monday, hopefully there's time to get that in, depending on what kind of bugs there are related to the old man Logan trial on Saturday or I mean today slash Saturday if I do a video for that. Otherwise, Saturday might be a Cosmic Crucible video. So we'll we'll see about that. We're going to skip ahead through here. Merc's Golden Bounty. They're just kind of reminding us that this is happening on the weekend, basically for the next seven weeks more, I think, that are left. And so Saturday and Sunday are going to have those uh, events where you need to blitz five times with Merch for Money and then you get free gold. 
and the old man Logan uh, ultimate awakened abilities, I think, as well. So we should have Panda Pool unlocked by now, and you may also have old man Logan unlocked. So you're going to get bonus points for this. Docking will be next week. Uh, so as far as being able to get more gold, you should get, be able to get that. I was getting 750 gold, 750k per day last weekend. I think it should be a little bit more this weekend with Panda Pool and Old Man Logan. So do check that as well. Make sure you do that for free gold. Friday free claim, Panda Pool shards and the bamboo orb fragments and some extra goodies there. And then we have the Mercs for my, uh, Mystic Mercenary event. And I do want to take a look at that and what the uh, what the table is going to, the chart's going to look like for that one. So I'm going to pull this one up here. I guess this photo, this is the E5, is that it? So let's take a look. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And let's look at the inputs, by the way. So oh, let's move to my full screen. So you can see that old man, use old man Logan in war. So if you're not able, I, I, we'll map this out later. You know, on Sunday when I do the video, I don't know if this 10,000 is actually required to get to where you need to. That's a lot of points, actually. So for those players who do not get Old Man Logan, that's going to be tough. Dawkins, 3,000. It's not that much. Pond, Panda Pool is 3,000. And I guess it's just the newer characters. And then you get 2,000 uh, for playing one war battle with a Marks for Money character. And it's not Limit. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, you can only use them once per war anyways. And it's a seven-day event, so three wars. So I'll keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, that's interesting that it's not, I guess it didn't really need to be limited because it is technically limited at an upper limit of 10,000 per time. And then you get five points per ISO eight campaign energy and then earning a mystic mercenary milestone point, which you're going to get from the web milestone. So let's take a look at some of the rewards though over here. And looks like there is some docking shards. We get five, 15, 30, 45 over here, just below the uh, mercenary contract. So I'm guessing this milestone here, which looks to be milestone uh, if i can read properly it looks like mer milestone 13 will unlock docking and milestone 14 is going to have the mercenary contract anything beyond that i'm honestly going to assume is going to be whale stones basically from 16 onwards uh usually that's where it is the red gear normally delineates that that is whale stones and you're not getting that uh free to play but hopefully we do get the unlock for docking and if that's the case you can actually get the additional points for the 3000 for him later on in this event as well so that is that event. And then there's the web milestone event, which I'm going to pull up here as well. Let's blow that up. So spend one wasteland road trip energy. That is the event campaign energy. And we need to spend 3000 over seven days. Now, that's interesting because most people don't core this. Maybe if you're a new player, you do. But you're getting about 244 of this energy per day. So times it by seven, you're getting about 1700. And then when you core refresh, you only get 100. So you basically need to do, you know, like 13 refreshes. Oh, I don't know why I did times. Is, it's 13 refreshes. So times 50 cores. This is going to be about 650 cores over like, I don't know, uh, three and a half days that you're going to need to spend for that. Just off the top of my head. I did that really rough. Uh, and then uh, how much you're going to need to core for the ISO 8 campaign energy. I don't know. We'll find out more about that when I do the math because I haven't really broken that down yet. But you do get five points per ISO 8 campaign energy spent. On that one so those are the events there but we'll break it down in more details on sunday uh let's take a look at the that's probably it actually the crumble yep that is and of course everything is what is it subject to change in this game but i think the most important thing that's going to be coming out today that you're going to be working on basically as we speak maybe as you're watching this video is going to be the old man logan trial events i think that's going to be really super important make sure you do well and uh, make sure you do as uh, well as you possibly can, because if you watch my other video talking about this, the leaderboards are going to be so, so important. And you might actually be able to compete for a top 5000 slot. Now, for the free to play, that would be basically maxing your D10 run with all packs. Try to do that as early as possible, because when it comes to tiebreakers, it's the person who did it first. I know it's really stupid and it sucks for people in the EU and elsewhere. Uh, but that's just how it is, and they've decided not to do anything about that. So that's going to be the end of the blog, everyone. I hope you guys all have a great weekend, and we'll see about tomorrow's video, depending on what happens with the rest of today, and uh, Sunday we'll have the event video. So until next time, everybody, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Boylan, signing out.